With season three just being released, guys, we have a lot of brand new combos being added to the game. So I thought it was finally time that I give you guys 25 brand new combos that you can main in season three. This list is going to include some brand new combos as well as some OG ones that we have to talk about. So make sure you guys watch all the way through to the end. But let's get started, guys, with Tropical Punch Zoe and the Star One. Now, Tropical Punch Zoe has just been added back to the game with the Summer Legends bundle. This is a really underrated skin that hardly anyone is using and it definitely has the potential to be a sweaty skin the design is so so good i absolutely love this skin and when you pair it with something like the star one it is going to be such a good combo if you don't want to buy this bundle though because you just bought the battle pass the one skin that you can use is the dark style of eevee with the merry mint now this is definitely a grind to unlock this skin as it is on page nine of the battle pass but it might be one of the best styles of eevee this season when you pair it with something like like the merry mint as well it is definitely going to make it a sweaty combo and something that not too many people are actually going to be able to use this is a really exclusive pickaxe and not too many people own it and it's only going to get more and more rare as this will never be added back to the game so if you guys have been grinding out this season this is definitely one combo i would recommend you start using a little bit of an older combo though that we have to talk about is chani with the harley hitter now this skin was added back towards the end of chapter two but i feel like we have to talk about it because of how good this skin actually is. There have been a few pros and streamers using this skin over the last few weeks as well, so I feel like if this does get added back to the item shop very, very soon, a lot more people would be using this combo. It works in perfectly with the Harley Hitter. The design of this combo is just so good, and this is definitely something that I've been using a lot throughout Chapter 3. Let's talk about a Chapter 1 skin though, and we are pairing Clash with the brand new Widow's Promise pickaxe. I love Clash. I think it is one of the most un underrated skins we have ever seen in Fortnite, and when you pair it with something like the Widow's Promise, it is going to make a very good combo. The design of this just works so well together. I feel like the red style of Widow's Promise as well fits in so, so well, but if you haven't grinded out to unlock that edit style, then you can't always use the default style of Widow's Promise. This also looks really good, and I think it is going to be a popular combo in Season 3. That takes us to the number 21 position though, and we have Trick with the King's Oath pickaxe. This is a really good combo, and we have actually seen quite a few brand new people using this in Season 3. The design of this combo can be so creative as well because you can change around the Trixie skins quite a bit. They definitely won't be as popular as the superhero skins, but I feel like they definitely have a lot more potential in the next few weeks to become extremely popular. So if these do get added back to the shop, make sure you guys pick them up. Another skin that I've been surprised with that has become popular over the last few months is Domino, and you want to pair this with the Icebreaker Pickaxe. Now, when I talk about popular, this is popular for a crossover skin. Usually, a lot of these crossover skins get added to the game. They stay popular for one or two weeks, and then they start dropping off a lot. But Domino is one of the oldest Marvel skins in the game, added over two years ago, and we have started to see a lot of pros and streamers using this in the last few weeks. I love the design of this skin. I think it has always had the potential to be sweaty, so hopefully it does become a a lot more popular in the future. The icebreaker is just going to work so well with this as well. So if you guys own both of these items, definitely try out this combo today. Let's move on to a brand new skin though, and this is the Spider-Man Zero, and you want to pair this with the Crowbar Pickaxe. Now, this is actually going to be a really exclusive skin, at least for the next few weeks. The only way that you can get this skin at the moment is by buying one of the Zero Point comic books, but we don't know if this will be added to the item shop in the future. I love the design of this. I think it is so, so sick, and we all know how good the old Spider-Man skins were, and of course, how popular they were as well. So if this does ever get added to the item shop, I expect this to be one of the more popular skins this season. We may as well mention the old Spider-Man skins as well, though, and you want to pair these with the Gold Crow. Now, it doesn't matter whether you want to use the movie version of Spider-Man or even the Battle Pass style, but all of them are going to work with the Gold Crow. In particular, I think the symbiote style of the Battle Pass Spider-Man and the black and gold style of the movie Spider-Man are going to work the best, but you can use any different edit style you want. Let's move on to the number 17 position though, and we have the Psycho Bandit with the Rainbow Clover and the Star One. There aren't too many things I need to say about this combo. We all know how good it is, yet there is still no one that is maining this design. 
It looks so, so good. All of these items work perfectly together. But the fact that the Psycho Bandit is actually quite a rare skin now is the main reason why we don't see too many people using it. Hopefully it does get added back to the item shop though. I would love to have this and hopefully we do see it in the future. But let's move on to a more recent combo guys. And this is going to be the Burning Ember style of Sabina with the Spellwork Scimitar. There aren't too many combos that I think work perfectly together, but these two items will work so, so well together. I had to include it on the list. Sabina is definitely going to be a grind to unlock this style. It is unlocked very late in the battle pass, but the design of this is so, so good. If you guys did grind out the last battle pass as well, you would have unlocked the Spellwork Scimitar on the final page. And this pickaxe is so underrated right now. It is actually crazy. I love the design of this, and I think it is going to be more popular in the future. So hopefully we do see people using this combo throughout season three. Before we move on to the next combo, guys, our battle pass giveaway is still going on. So if you want a chance to win a free battle pass, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on. And if this video can reach 3000 likes, I'll be giving away 10 free battle passes. Let's move on though. And next up, we have Wildcat with the King's Oath pickaxe. For this, you want to use the blue style of the King's Oath pickaxe. It is so, so good, and I love the way this looks with the Wildcat skin. Now, unfortunately, Wildcat is an extremely rare skin. You had to pay over $400 in order to unlock this as well, so chances are not too many people are actually going to have this. If you do have both of these items, though, I would highly recommend using them. You guys are going to look so good, and it is definitely going to be a sweaty combo in Season 3. The next combo so on our list, guys, is Poet with the Star Wand Pickaxe. This was just added to the game in Season 2, and it was for the Coachella crossover. I really like this. A lot of people are sleeping on this skin right now, though, with not too many people using it. I think the design is so good, though. It deserves to be a lot more popular than it is, and it really wouldn't surprise me if this becomes one of the more popular skins in Season 3. It's going to fit in with the Star Wand perfectly, so if you guys do own both of these items, I would definitely recommend giving this combo a try. Next up though, we have an OG combo and this is Aura with the Icebreaker Pickaxe. Now this has to be one of the cheapest combos on this list coming in at only 1,300 V-Bucks. Aura is definitely one of the most popular skins on the list as well with so many different people using it, but there really aren't too many people in the Fortnite community that are actually meaning this skin. The Icebreaker has become extremely popular over the last few weeks as well, so I'm sure you guys have already been using this, but if you haven't, this is one combo that you can main in season three. Let's move on to a much newer combo though, and this is Sakura with the Harley Hitter. Now, a lot of people have been using Sakura. It has also been known as the next Chun Li, and I think we all know how good that skin was. I still really like the design of this though. I think more people should be using it. So hopefully that happens as the season goes on. No one is really maining this combo yet. So if you guys do like the way this looks, definitely start using it today. Let's move forward though to the number 11 position and we have Zadie with the Rainbow Clover and the Harley Hitter. Now I have no idea why, but no one has ever mained Zadie in Fortnite. This is so strange. It is known as one of the sweatiest skins we are ever going to see. The design is so good and there are three different edit styles for only 1,200 V-Bucks. But for some reason, no one has been maining this skin which is so surprising to me so if you guys like the way this skin looks and how this combo looks this could very easily be your main combo in season three let's talk a little bit more about another underrated combo and this is moon knight with the crowbar pickaxe now i know some people really don't like the way this looks but i think moon knight is one of the most underrated skins available today it looks so so clean the edit styles of this skin are even better as well and if you want to use the sweatier style of this skin then it is definitely the suited version of Moon Knight. Some of you guys might be hating on this combo, but just give it a try and I promise you guys, you will absolutely love it. We haven't talked about a battle pass combo for a while though, so let's move on to Adira with the Infiltrator edit style and we are pairing this with the Bold Bar Pickaxe. Adira would have to be one of my favorite battle pass skins that we have seen in chapter three so far. The design is really good and the Infiltrator edit style is easily one of the coolest unlockable styles as well. You can also choose to add armor to this skin, which I think is a really cool touch, but I think a lot more people will just be using the base style of the Infiltrator version. I think this ties in really well with the Bold Bar. The colors are going to work so well together, and this will definitely be a popular and sweaty combo in the next few weeks. Another Battle Pass combo that we have to talk about, though, is Malik, and we are pairing this with the Gold Crow. 
Malik is going to be one of the most slept on Battle Pass skins this season. I love the design of this, but I think there are just so many good Battle Pass skins this season that Malik might be the one that gets overlooked. It is going to work perfectly with the Gold Crow. The design of these two items just works so well together, and I think a lot of people will be using this in public matches over the next few weeks. If you guys do like the way this looks though, I would highly recommend meaning it in Season 3. One of the coolest looking combos on this list though would have to be Kai Kylo Ren with the Spellwork Scimitar. Now, since we have Darth Vader in the game now, we have started to see a few people using some of the older Star Wars skins, and there is no doubt that Kylo Ren is one of the best we have ever seen. Not too many people use this in competitive game modes, but there isn't anyone in the Fortnite community maining this skin or even this combo today, and that is why I thought I would put this on the list. If you guys aren't going to buy the Battle Pass and you just want to use a Star Wars combo, then this is one that I would highly recommend using. But Without a doubt, one of the best combos that you can main in Fortnite today is Darth Vader with the Light Blade or the King's Oath Pickaxe. A lot of people that just want mad Star Wars vibes have been using this with the Light Blade because this pickaxe does sort of resemble a little bit of a red lightsaber. But obviously, if you want a combo that looks the best and it is also another Battle Pass item, then the King's Oath is a really good pickaxe to use. The design is so good. I think it fits in with Darth Vader really, really well, even though it's a sword and not a lightsaber. But I still think this combo looks really good. But let's move on to another Battle Pass combo, and this is Snap with the Driver Pickaxe. Now, this won't be as sweaty as some of the other combos on this list or even out of the Battle Pass, but I had to mention this skin because of how good it actually is. It would have to be one of the most creative skins we have ever seen. There are just so many different edit styles for this, and I think it will become a lot better as the season goes on. But let's move on to another really popular combo, and this is the superhero skins with Obi-Wan's Blade for the Pickaxe. Now, the superhero skins are something that is always going to be sweaty in Fortnite. Ever since they got added back in Chapter 2 Season 4, they have arguably been the most popular skins in every game mode of Fortnite. Whether you are playing creative, competitive, or just public matches, chances are you will run into someone using these superhero skins. They have so many different design aspects to them as well, and that is why I think these are so popular. But I would love for people to start becoming more creative with these skins and using some different color styles opposed to just the fully white style. Next up though, we have to talk about Siren with Lebeau's bow. Now, there are definitely a lot of players out there that have been using Siren over the last few months, especially Benji Fishy, but I feel like we are swapping up his combo by using the Neuer or the alternate edit style of this skin. Hardly anyone has used this, but I really do think we will get even more styles of Siren added to the game in the future. For right now, though, using Lebeau's bow with this skin is so, so good. It makes it a really clean combo, and you are definitely going to have one of the best combos on your friends list. Let's talk about the base style of Adira though, and we are pairing this with the Star Want. Now, it is really going to be difficult to tell which style becomes most popular of Adira, whether it's the Infiltrator edit style or the base style of this skin, because so far we have seen a lot of people using both. I think the base style is really clean, it has a more simplistic design, and it fits in really well with the Star Want, which is why I think this will be more popular towards the end of the season. It is also going to be really sweaty as well. We have already seen a lot of people using it in competitive matches, so I feel like that is only going to stay the same for the rest of the season. But make sure to let me know in the comments down below, guys, what style of Adira is your favorite? The next combo that we are talking about might be the best one from this battle pass, though, and this is Eevee with the Ice Breaker. Now, Eevee is one of the best battle pass skins we have seen in a long time. It has so many different ender styles as well, which just makes it that much better. And when you pair it with something like the Ice Breaker, it just means that this combo is going to be as sweaty as possible. I hope you guys like this. You can unlock this at tier one as well. So even if you don't really grind out the battle pass or even grind out Fortnite too much anymore, you can use this combo as soon as you buy the battle pass. But there you guys go. That is 25 combos that you can main in chapter three, season three. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what your favorite combo is and what combo you are maining in Fortnite right now. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.